what is up guys welcome back to this new and exciting new video i hope you guys are having fun and roma roca and if i can do it you can definitely do it that's that sounds a pretty good intro topic natin for today is about my five tips on how to hold your breath longer underwater so basically itong tips na to is what works for me okay so this is what I learned throughout my free diving experience and from me as a beginner and us today still a beginner <laughs> so without further ado let's hop into the tips for tip number one as a beginner, you should know what is CO2 table. So there's a lot of uh, free app in the Play Store that you can use. And mine specifically was Apnoid. I'm using Apnoid for my CO2 training table. So okay, so on CO2 table, you make your body used to the carbon dioxide buildup. So um, how does CO2 table works? It's like okay, so from this table you have to hold your breath for 60 seconds after holding it for 60 seconds you have to rest for uh, 48 seconds and then hold your breath for another after resting for 48 seconds you hope you have to hold your breath again for 60 seconds and after that you have to rest for like for this 36 seconds so basically yung rest time mo nagdi decrease pero yung breath hold timer mo Fix lang siya. So, so this makes our body used to the sensation of urge to breathe. So, so as a beginner, kasi when when we submerge the water and hold our breath, ang tendency kasi meron na agad tayong nararamdaman na urge to breathe. So gusto na agad natin umamot. But it doesn't mean na kulang na tayo sa oxygen. So ang meaning lang nun, mataas na yung carbon dioxide level natin. Gusto na natin ilabas. Okay? 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 Okay, so for tip number two, it's apnea walking. So what is apnea walking? It's basically holding your breath while walking. While walking. So uh, ano mo ini-improve nito sa katawan natin? And syempre, same din sa CO2 table. It improves our CO2 tolerance. Improves our low O2 tolerance. Increase also your awareness of surroundings. Syempre, uh, Mas, mas na focus ka eh. so syempre lalo kapag underwater ka na and then you have your mask on limited yung vision mo unlike unlike without the mask so mas malaki yung peripheral din natin but when you have your mask your vision medyo nalilimit pero if you're aware na let's say pasok ako sa shipwreck and then yun aware na ako na kasha ako dito and then nasaan ako lalabas kasi na improve nun yung awareness ko while doing apnea walks Number three, it's actually physical preparation. So before free diving, let's say this weekend, magfi free dive ako. Nag, meron na ako mga meron na ako mga preparation na ginagawa. Sure, unang una enough sleep. Sure, enough sleep para mas relax ng ato mas kompleto. Next is uh, I, I drink a lot of vitamin C rich drinks, mga kalamansi. Yung mga natural ha, so isang pag-uwi ko, bibili akong kalaman si Iwai kaya nalagyan ko ng honey yun, honey, nakakatulong din yun and syempre yun na nga, kasama na din dun yung mga konting jogging, konting exercise and, so, during the actual dive, I do a lot of a lot of physical stretching first stretch your body stretch your necks for ah, uh, uh, stretch your jaw and I always do equalize. I lagi ako nag-equalize kahit nasa office ako, kahit nasa no, talagang para masana yung katawan ko mag-equalize. So, so that's it for tip number three. It's physical preparation. Okay, so so for tip number four, it's on mental preparation. So, mental preparation. So, hindi yung parang yoga mga pababahin mo na yung heartbeat mo. So, mental pre preparation is 
basically, before ako mag-dive, sinasabi ko na okay, may dive ako sa weekend. I keep reminding myself na okay, so relax ka lang. Avoid uh, external stress factors. So, eh, Siyempre, iwas nga na dyan. Mga may nangaaway sa'yo. May mga... Huwag mo nang pansinin nyo. Huwag mo nang... Huwag mo nang... Patulan. So, wala ka naman mapapala. Eh. Unless, medyo below the bed na. Pero, stay calm almost all the time. So, kasi yung maraming stress factors talaga yun. Na, actually, sobrang hindi mo siya mapapas yung pera, nakaka-affecto siya. So, lalo kapag na magda-dive ka na and then makaalhala mo, di ba? Di ba nakaka-stress yun? So, that's it. Mental preparation dapat. Mentally strong ka din. That's it for tip number four. Tip number five, it's actually doing the practice. So, mag-practice ka talaga but never overdo it. So, yung practice mo dapat balance mo pa rin. So, kasi, kasi kapag na-overdo mo yan, hindi siya pwede ka magkaroon ng pwede kang magkasakit and then mas tatagal yung pahinga mo so yun lang ano uh, moderate way lang ang practice don't overdo it and yun basta magpractice ka lang and keep doing dives and syempre always target let's say nag dive ka targetin mo lagi yung dagdag ka ng mga ilang seconds sa breton mo kapag paon ka na try to hold it lalo kapag nakikita mo na malapit ka naman sa boy may safety diver ka naman Try to add like 1 to 2 seconds, 1 to 5 seconds of dive time. Okay, so that's it for the tips and syempre meron akong extra tip para sa inyo. So itong kakilala ko, siya yung actually kilala kong deepest na Filipino freediver na I personally know. So, kumbaga parang kumbaga kaibigan ko talaga siya si, si, si Jandy, walang yung Jandy. So mahaba yung breath hold niya and hindi niya sinasabi yung sikreto niya pero napansin ko na nahuli ko na siya nahuli ko na yung nahuli ko na yung ano niya yung technique niya kumakain siya ng maraming nilagang itlog laging may baon niya lagpas ampu mamimigay yun isa lang Naka, yun, na yung, yun na yung agahan niya yun na yung tanghalian niya siguro kaya mahaba ang breath hold mo Jandy ha o i-post mo na yung ano <laughs> picture so uh, okay so that's it for this <laughs> Okay, so that's it for this uh, tutorials and I hope you learned, <laughs> you learned a lot of things so sana gawin nyo yan and uh, share nyo rin yung mga tips nyo on how to hold your breath on how to breath your hold longer <laughs> how to hold your breath longer underwater and and don't forget to share the love and I will see you on the next video bye bye Guys, don't forget to subscribe pala and share the video. So, pa-birthday ko na sa akin. Mag-subscribe kayo. Bye-bye.